you were probably expecting a new remix. But instead you get this, although I promise a new remix will be up soon-ish. Anyways, on to the main topic. Have you ever wondered what if the Zarmbomba explosion was a cockroach before seeing the title of this video? If not, you're probably more sane than me and some of the people I talk to on the internet. Well, with the power of math and Google, we can figure it out. So let's set a few things straight before we begin. I will be determining the volume of a cockroach if its mass was equal to the force that was created in the Zarbomba explosion, and I'll be making a few adjustments and doing a lot of rounding to make the numbers easier. And with all of that out of the way, let's begin. So the first thing we'll need is the volume of a cockroach. For this, I'll be using the American cockroach and basing it on this image as I couldn't find an average width for it, so I have to compare it to the length to get a number, and the length of the image is about the average length of that anyways. So converting the 1.5 inches into centimeters metric system because it's better in literally every way, we get 1.3 centimeters in length. By comparing the pixels, uh, the pixels of the length to the pixels of the width, the math, the math is on screen for anyone who wants to see it. We get a total of 1.6 centimeters of width. For our final measurement of height, I couldn't find any information or images from which to infer it, so we're gonna have to. So we're just going to assume that it's about one millimeter or 0.1 centimeters. Now, doing the standard length times width times height to get the volume, we get a total of 0.6 centimeters cubed. Now, we need one more measurement from the cockroach to be able to compare it to Zarbamba, the mass. Now, I couldn't find an average mass of an American cockroach. However, based on the numbers of the German cockroach, we're gonna assume that it's about one gram. Combined, that gives us one gram for 0.6 six centimeters cubed, a number that we can work with. So the yield of Zarbomba is estimated to be around 50 megatons. Conveniently, this translates quite easily, quite easily into grams. 50 trillion grams. Jeez, that's quite the heavy cockroach. Multiplying that, that by the 0 0.6 centimeters cubed, we had a final answer of 30 trillion centimeters cubed, or about 30 billion kilometers cubed. That's only 36 times smaller than the Earth, which sits at 1.08 trillion kilometers, while being quite a bit larger than the Moon, which sits at 22 billion kilometers cubed. The freaking moon is only 73% of the cockroach's size. <sighs> Imagine somebody dropping that on your country. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and that I don't cause too many nightmares. If you want to have more stuff like this or any other non-music stuff from me, feel free to tell me in the comments. And sorry that it's been over a month since my last remix. Anyways, see you in the next video.